Hello, Wilbur. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing great, teacher. All right. That's good. That's good. Um, did you do section four? Um, section four. Yes. Yes. Uh, yesterday I finished the 4.12, I think. Oh, okay. You're almost done. Yes. Yes. Okay, and uh, did you go to work today? Yes, yes, teacher. The last, uh, uh, this last week, teacher, I can join in the video conference due to uh, in my work, uh, <coughs> work at uh, 7 or 8 p.m. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, teacher, this is the reason because I, I can join in the video conference. Oh, oh okay. All right, no, not a problem, okay? As long as you're doing the work uh, on the platform, that would be great, not a problem, okay? So um, today, we have to start um, with lesson five, section five. Oh, okay. Hi, Dina, how are you doing, Dina? Hello, Dina. Hello, Dina. Oh, hello, Dina. Oh, she cannot hear me yet. Okay, good. So, uh, let's go to the chat and I'll explain present. Continuous. Okay, the same. Okay, and uh, we're going to start with lesson with uh, section five, present continuous. Okay, I am teaching you now. Okay, I am teaching you now. You need the verb to be, I am, am, and then the, you need a verb in the ing form, a verb in the ing form. Okay, I am teaching you now, you are, Okay. Listening to me now. Okay, you can say right now, right now. You are listening to me right now. You are listening to me right now. Okay, I am teaching you. I am teaching you. Okay, you need a verb in the ing form. And you need a verb, the verb to be, okay? You need the verb to be. Plus a verb in, in the ing form. No. There you go. Verb to be uh, and a verb in the ing form. That's the way you use uh, the present continuous, okay? And the uh, present continuous, you use it uh, to talk about what's going on right now, okay? What's going on right now, okay? All right, so here we go uh, can you give me an example can you give me an example can you give me an example all right with the uh present continuous form i am speaking english to you now i am speaking english to you now there you go for, for example, teacher, uh, we are 
we are taping a video conference. We are, okay, yeah, we are having a video, oh, okay. video conference right now. We are Maybe. having a video conference right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, for example, uh, you are looking at me now. You are looking at me now. Okay. You are looking at me now. Good evening, Ernesto. How you doing tonight? Good evening. Nice. How about you? Oh, I'm doing great. Did you rest on the weekend? Yes, a lot. Okay, great. That's good. That's good. All right. So, so all right. So, uh, present continuous. All right, this is an action. Present continuous talks about an action. Present continuous talks about an action. That's going on. That's happening. That's happening right now. Now, that's happening now. Present continuous talks about an action that's happening now. Like, like for example, I am teaching you English. You are listening to me right now. I am speaking English to you. We are having a video conference right now. You are looking at me. Okay? You are paying attention. You are paying, okay, oh, you are paying attention to me. You are paying attention to me, all right? You are speaking English to me. You are speaking English to me. Okay, so those are example, examples of present continuous, okay? So this is an action that's uh, happening right now. But if you, if you use a, an, an expression of time, for example, I am traveling for the USA next week. You see, this is I am traveling. I am traveling. When you quit, when you use an expression of time like next week, it becomes future. So you can use present continuous to to mean future. Okay, I am traveling for the USA next week. Okay, I am taking an important exam tomorrow when you say tomorrow it becomes future i am taking an important exam tomorrow when you say tomorrow it's not it doesn't continuous anymore it's it future it's present continuous indicating future okay Oh. All right. So, so whenever you use a time expression like tomorrow, like, like next week, like next month, and so on. All right. Or when you say, for example, I am, I'm taking, I'm taking four subjects this semester. I'm taking four subjects this semester. Okay, when I say this semester, it means future. It means future. 
okay? The whole semester over a period of time. It's future over that period of time, okay? I'm taking four subjects this semester. I'm taking an important exam tomorrow. So basically that is future, okay? I am traveling for the USA next week. So that would be future. You understand? If you say right now, then it means that the action is happening right now. Okay, but when you say next semester, this semester, uh, uh, next week, and so on, then you're indicating future. Uh, do you understand? Can you give me an example? Um, <clears throat> I, am, I am having uh -huh. tomorrow in the morning. I'm having, I'm having what? I'm having a meeting. Oh, yeah, right. Meeting I'm, tomorrow in the morning. Exactly. It's not right now that that's taking place, but it is tomorrow. So basically, yes. it's future, right? Okay. So, so uh, that's a very good example. Very good. Uh, Ernesto, can you give me another example? I'm working tomorrow at the morning. In the mo I'm working tomorrow in the morning, okay. Okay, I could ask you, what are you doing tomorrow? And that is future. What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? It means future. What, what you're going to be doing tomorrow, okay? That is what you're going to be doing tomorrow, okay? Um, all right, so give me an example indicating present. Present. Give me an example indicating present. I mean, or I mean present an, action, or an, present an, action, an action that's happening right now. An action that's happening right now. Oh. Mm. I am sitting in my bed right now. Okay, very good. Very good. Ernesto. I'm listening to a noise. I'm listening to a noise right now. There's a thief in my house. Good. All right, all right. Okay, uh, let's do, let me see if I can, if I can get a little exercise that I have for you right here. Here we go. Remember, when you use present continuous, you need the verb to be. Without the verb to be is not possible to uh, to use that tense to use present continuous. Okay, here it is. Yeah. Let me see if I can make it bigger for you here. Okay. Okay. All right. so my sister is watching TV 
in in the living room. Okay. Can you do number two? Mr. Smith is 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 Mr. Smith is 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 Number three, number three, Wilbur. <coughs> I am waiting for the bus. For the bus. I'm waiting for the bus. Very good. Ernesto, number four. My friends are playing tennis. Right. Emolina, five. It's, it's it, it is not. Um, I don't know. Raining, raining. Okay, raining. It's foot. That's raining, not. raining of sunny. It's sunny. It's sunny. Okay. Day number six. It cut. It cut is. It cut is food. What do you do with the food? And comida and cut is food. It's food. What do you do with the food? Eat. You eat it. Eating. Eating. The cat is. The cat is. Eat food. Eating. 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 Eating food. Okay, number seven. My husband. Number seven. Okay, uh, mm. Wilbur. Oh, my husband is resting. In the garden. Right in the garden, okay. Good. Hey, Molina, number eight. Hey, Molina, number eight. Ernesto, number eight. Ernesto Palacios, number eight. Okay. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Hey, Molina, go ahead. Number eight. And then Ernesto, uh, number nine. I am not. Uh, I am not starting to the school today. I'm not. I'm not going to school today. I'm sick. I'm, okay, okay. I'm not going to school today. I'm sick. I'm okay. not going to school today. Uh, okay. Ernesto Palacios, number nine. Kelly, <clears throat> she's just sleeping. She is sleeping. Okay. Number ten, Wilbur. My neighborhood is busy. Um, she's working her jar. She's working on her um, uh, worker. She, uh, yeah, she's working her yard. Or? Yeah, she's working her yard. Okay. Cutting, 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 cutting her yard. All right, n n Dina, Wait. number 11. Mr. Brown is What do you do with the coffee? Think Mr. Brown drink a cup of coffee. Is, is drinking a cup of coffee. Mr. Brown is drinking a cup of coffee. Okay, next one. Uh, number 12. Number 12, Wilbur. Sam and Frodo are um, going over the bridge. Going over the bridge Sam and Frodo are going over the bridge uh -huh. good 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 number 13 Ernesto Palacios I think we are uh, playing the game we have a 10 point okay winning we're, we're winning the game good number 14 e Molina 
No, no want, no want it. Uh, speaking the telephone. Uh, using. Uh, using. The telephone. Using the telephone. Yeah. No one is using the telephone. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Number 15, Dina. <coughs> Um, I think we to have this 60 starting. We have the 16. We, starting. we, you we can say, we are, we are writing the 16 writing. statements. We are writing yeah. the 16 statements. Number 16, Wilbur. 16, Wilbur. <clears throat> you are um, practicing the answer to question number 16. Okay, great, 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 great. Okay, uh, do you understand present continuous, people? Yes, teacher. Okay, do you have any questions? No more questions. No, okay. sincerely no. Sincerely no. Okay. Okay. Let's read this reading selection. It says, <clears throat> it says, it says, correct the grammar mistakes below. The first one is done for you. There are 12 more. There are 12 more. Here we go. Today is Saturday, and my family and I are relaxing at home. Uh, Dina, my father. My father, usually. Usually? Was. Watch his, watch his, his car. His car. Was like his a car a good day, but he not watch. His, but but he he not he he are he is not he he he, are, he isn't he isn't watching. Watching the car now. Okay, Wilbur. Now he. Wilbur. Excuse me, teacher. Yeah. Now, uh -huh. now he's read a book about cars. He, he, correct the mistake. Now he. He's reading a book. Reading a book about cars. <laughs> Okay, Ernesto, my mother usually. My mother usually baking cookies on weekend, weekdays. Mm -hmm. uh, but but she not baking now. But she is not baking now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, hey Molina, now? Now, she is watching a cooking shop, shop on TV. Right. My, go ahead, go ahead. My older sister usually does her homework on one day. On, but week, she, on weekdays. On weekend, on, on weekdays, mm. but she isn't do her. She I'm isn't, but she isn't, she isn't doing, doing her homework now. Okay. Now, she, now, uh, Ernesto Palacio, now she, now she's painting some pictures. All right. Wilbur, my little brother usually little brother usually helps helps my father wash the car but he not helping my father now okay dina 
Now he plays. Now. Now. He plays. But but it says it's present continued. Now. He now. He's. Playing. Playing. Mm -hmm. Now he plays with his toys. With his toys. With toy and me. And me. And me. Usually I clean. All right, thank you, Wilbur. Usually I clean the yard. Usually I clean the yard. I, I clean the yard, but I not clean. Cleaning. I cleaning the yard now. Now. Mm -hmm. Now I. Er, Ernesto. Now. Uh huh. Ernesto now. Now I am telling you about my family. How about you? What How are about you? Doing? you? What, are you, what are you doing now? Okay, very good, very good. I like it. All right, guys. Carlos Diaz. Hello, Carlos Diaz. Okay, and here you have the... Um, Knowledge check 5.2, okay? We're going to talk about Sam's family tree. Sam's family tree, okay? Here we have, look at Sam's family tree. How are these people, how are these people related to him? Add these words to the family tree. Add these words to the family tree. Okay. Grandfather and... What are you going to write here? Andy and Marta. Or Maria. Yeah. Andy is the grandfather and Marta is... A grandmother. The grandmother. Good. Now, Sarah is the mother. And Chris is the father. The father. Dina. Father. Dina. Donna is the aunt. And Manuel is the what, Dina? The wife. No. 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 Here, check check it out. Check it out. Check the vocabulary. Oh, perdón. Oh, perdón. No, no. Okay. And, uh, and Manuel uncle. is the uncle. 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 How do you say, how do you say tobillo? How do you say tobillo in English? No. Ankle. Ah, uh, okay. Ankle. <laughs> and how do you say tío in English? Uncle. Uncle. Tobillo? Uncle. Enco. Tío? Uncle. 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 Okay. Uncle Tio. Enco Rodilla. Enco Tobillo. 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 Okay. Tobillo. Okay. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> e Molina. E Molina. Sam is the husband. Yumiko is the what? E, e, is his. She. Uh, and Wi-Fi? Wife. Wife. The wife. 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 The wife. Okay. Wife. Jim is the brother. And Lisa is the Ernesto Palacios. Is the what? Sister. Sister. And and Teresa? What is Teresa? What is the house? The what? Sister in law. Mm. La cuñada. The cuñada. sister in law. What about this? Kelly is what? No. No, 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 no. No, wait, 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 wait. Uh, let me see here.
Okay. Uh, Jimmy is the nephew and Kelly is what? I don't know what. Kelly is what? The niece. The niece. Niece, nephew. Niece? Niece. Nie like this. This. This one. This one. Niece. Here. This one over here. Okay. 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 So. Okay. Andy and Sam's grandfather are Martha and Martha are his. Okay. You have to. This is. Check it out. It says. It says. Let me make it smaller for you. There we go. So, Andy is Sam's. Where is Sam? Here is Sam. This is Sam, okay? And this is Andy and Martha. Okay. Andy is Sam's grandfather and Martha is his Martha is Grand, grandmother. Grandmother. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Andy. Okay, now, do you understand what's going on? All right, another one. Chris. Here is Chris. Is Sam's... Chris is Sam's what? Chris Father. Father. Very good, very good, very good. But let me explain something on the chat. Okay, this is called the possessive suffix. Possessive suffix. Okay, all right. Ernesto's. Oh, wait. Ernesto's car. What kind of a car do you have, Ernesto? Ernesto? Oh. Ernesto, what kind, of, what kind of a car do you have? What kind of what? Of a car. My car? Mm -hmm. I have a Toyota Tacoma. There you go. It's a pickup truck. Yes. There you go. Ernesto's car is a Toyota. All right. Now, I want you to pay attention to me. This is called the possessive suffix. Okay? okay. This one here. This one. The, the, uh, Ernesto's. Ernest, where it says Ernesto's. That is that is not the verb to be. That's called apostrophe. Okay. The apostrophe s, the possessive suffix. It indicates possession. Okay. Uh, who does the car belong to? Who is the owner of the car? Who is the owner of the car? Me. <laughs> right. So it's his car. Okay, it's his car. So, it's Ernesto's car. Okay? All right, for example, uh, Okay, let me see. Uh, um, Ernesto Molina's English. Ernesto Molina's English is good. Okay, Ernesto Molina's English is good. 
Now, Ernesto, is this the verb to be? Molinas. Molinas. Is that the verb to be, Ernesto Molina? No. What is it? it is adjective possession. It, it indicates possession. possession. How, how is your English? How is your English? It's good. It's good. You understand? So you're the owner of your English. Ernesto Molina's English is good. All right. Okay. So that's the possessive suffix. Okay. All right. Wilbur's Wilbur's profession. is good okay wilbur's 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 profession is good whose profession is that it's wilbur's wilbur's profession okay so that is not the verb to be it's Okay. So, so Wilbur's profession is good. Wilbur's profession is good. All right. This indicates uh, uh, the teacher's car is a uh, BMW. The teacher's car is a BMW. The teachers. The teacher's car. The teacher's car is a BMW. Okay, so the car belongs to the teacher. So that is not the verb to be. Okay. Now, uh, Carlos says. Carlos says. Uh, Carlos says. Job is good. Okay, Carlos says, see, apostrophe yes, apostrophe, Carlos's job, Carlos's job is really good, okay, so that indicates possession. Now, if we go back, if we go back, see, here they're using, they're saying Sam's, Sam's, okay, all right, Manuel is Sam's, Manuel. Okay, Manuel, where is Manuel? Where, here is Manuel, Manuel. Manuel is Sam's what? Manuel is Sam's, okay, check it out, check it out. Where is Sam? Where is Sam? Let me see, Sam, here is Sam. Manuel is Sam's what? Uncle. 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 Very good. Sam is married to Yumiko. She is his. Okay. Sam is married, married to Yumiko. Why? 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 Yeah, right. Why? Why? Okay. Sam has a brother. He is married to Lisa. Sam has a brother. Sam, let's look at it. Sam has a brother. Here it is. He is married to Lisa. Lisa is Sam's. Lisa is Sam's what? Lisa is Sam's what? Lisa is Sam's what? Lisa is Sam's brother. No. How do you say cuñada? Sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Sister Sister Teresa is the daughter of Manuel. Okay, let's look at the at the picture. Teresa is Teresa is what? Wait. 
Teresa is the daughter of Manuel. She is Sam's. She is Sam's. Oh, uncle. Uh, 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 aunt. 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 Oh. Tia. Aunt. Aunt. Right? Okay. Now, Jim and Lisa have two babies. Jim and Lisa have two babies. Kelly and Jimmy. Kelly is Sam's. Kelly is Sam's. This is Kelly. Is Sam's what? Sam's what? Miss. Knees. Very good. Knees. All right. Okay. So uh, this is basically the knowledge check of lesson number five. I'm getting you ready to finalize the section five and take the final exam next week. Okay, here it is. Oh wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Here we go, here we go. Read the following sentences, select the response with the quantifier closest to the meaning. Okay. The quantifier, what are the quantifiers? A little, a lot, okay, a lot, a few, um, all. All right, let me see. In China, 50% of the women get married by the age of 22. Okay, 50% means in China, a lot of women get married at 22. In China, a few women get married at 22. In China, all women get married. This 50% is what? A lot of, a few? It's a lot of. A, the answer is a lot of. A lot of. Very good. Carlos Diaz. In Australia, 87% of the married couples have children. 87%. Not many, some, nearly all. What is the quantifier? Nearly all, some, or not many? Nearly all. Nearly all. That's nearly all. Look, this is kind of like 90%. All right, all right. In the United States, 0% of the people vote before 18. In the United States, a few people, all people, no one. What's the meaning of 0%? No one is 0%. No one is 0%. No one. Okay, 35% of the people in Germany live alone. 35% of the people, okay, 35 is some, a few, most. A few? I would say some. Because, some. Oh. Yeah, I, I would say some, some. So 35% is a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of people, okay. 78% of the American high school students have jobs. 78, most American high, high school students have jobs. Uh, not many American high school students have a job. All American, not many, most. Most. Most, most, most is a good answer. Most is a good answer. Okay, good job, good job. And right after you finish section five, then uh, what you have to do, what you have to do 
is the final exam, okay? Next week, okay? Today is Monday. You have this week to do, to finish four and five, four and five, or maybe five, you can finish it next Monday or Tuesday, and then you finish up the final, the final examination, okay? So the next week. Next week, yeah. But oh. this week, you have to finish four and start five if you want. I want you to see the videos. I want you to see the grammar focus, all the little parts of the lesson so that you learn more, okay? So write the names of the family members, only names, only names. All right, we're gonna read it. We're gonna make it bigger. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The changing family. Dina. Read the instructions, Dina. Hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, read the instructions. America family are changing and import change in that most many women work on Sunday house. What happened in both parents work read about the modern family. Morales family. Judy and Steve Morales have three children, George, Ellen, Ben, Knight, and Emily, six. Steve is computer programmer. They are fully working at a day as a hospital administrator. 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 The family needs the money and could like her home. Everything is going to well. Warfare. Warfare. Are also. Are also some problems. Some problems. Okay, good job. So let me see, Ernesto, read this and this. Ernesto Palacios. Now that Judy is working. Now uh, that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Okay. Now that Judy is, that is working. Yeah, the other one too. Steve has to help okay. her more with the housework. <laughs> he doesn't enjoy it. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries. <clears throat> she also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays. To so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. All right, Emolina, read the next two. <laughs> Emily is having a great time in her after school program. When you come to the pick her, her up, she doesn't want to leave. Uh huh. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Ben's, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program right now. He's a pending. Mm -hmm. Most afternoon in front of the TV. Right. Okay. Uh, Wilbur, read Josh. Josh, mm -hmm. he's enjoying his new freedom after school. He's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He... He's also 
she he is also doing a few household chores. 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 Que hacer es, que hacer es, the chores. Okay. And here you have the questions. Here you have the questions. Which children are benefiting from Judy? Judy working. Josh, Josh, and Emily, right? See, Emily is having a great time in her after school. Which children are benefiting from Judy working? Doesn't want to leave the home. And Ben, Ben, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program right now. He's spending most of the afternoons in front of the TV. So who's benefiting more? Josh and Emily, Emily. right? Right, Josh and Emily. And the other question, <coughs> which child is not benefiting yeah, sure. from? Yeah. In this part, we need writing, write this answer, right? You have to write them, yes. Okay. Yeah, so just the name. The problem, problem is when I put it, when I, when I write Emily, it's a, it's a grand answer. Uh, Emily and Josh, em, Emily yeah. and Josh. It would be Emily and Josh, the answer. Okay, let me see. Emily. Emily and Josh. Okay. Okay, kind of like that. Let me see if I get it right. Let me see if I get it right. Because it's almost time to, to, to go, okay? But you have time and you have a good idea of what's going on. Let me see if I got it right. Let's see if I got it right. Right, Emily and Josh, okay? Okay guys, so basically you have time to work on section four this week, finish it up. And by Thursday, this week, by Thursday, uh, and on the weekend, maybe you wanna finish up section five and then by next Wednesday, next week, you can be finishing the final exam. Okay, guys? Okay. Okay, great. It was nice teaching you and talking to you tonight. You have a great time. Have a good night. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. Take it easy. Bye-bye. Take it easy, guys. Bye-bye.